What I don't like about the media and about real life, I think everybody kind of looks down on black men and black people. I would love to see black men in film portrayed in a more realistic light. Whenever I have a platform to speak and to encourage the hearts of men, it's like, I see how you're portrayed in the media and it disgusts me, honestly. I can't stand it. I mean, men in general are just the object of disrespect in homes, period. And I'm like, but we need them. We need them to help lead our families well. White supremacy is the problem, not black men. We're at odds, there's no question about it. Uh, we're at opposite ends of the pole. I say I'm a human being as a black man. America says, no, you're not. And I'm going to try my best to prove that you're not by everything that I can imagine, which I will impose upon you, that's negative. You're a negative agent in America. You're not a good being in America, and I will do my best to uh, use my media and uh, propaganda devices to make images and messages and, and symbols of you as a bad person, a bad human beings. I don't want to see you as decent and respectable and, and that sort of thing. I think that was something I knew hypothetically going in, that I would be raising brown children in a racist world. I knew that all intellectually, if that makes sense. But it wasn't until I was pregnant with our oldest and Trayvon Martin was shot and the visceral reactions of the little human that I was carrying and bringing into the world, what he and what my husband go through on a daily basis, like crept into my veins. <laughs> and which I feel like is the only way that I could get possibly close to understanding the experience of a person of color in this country because I was carrying and growing a person and loving and doing everything that you know a mom can to create a loving and healthy environment for their baby knowing what they're bringing them into. That was when it really kind of sunk in. Having a bunch of black brothers and just seeing the way the media like portrays them and just seeing how they're being treated nowadays, it definitely made me very scared at first, but it also made you me want to stand, stand up and say, you know, don't ever judge somebody by their appearance. I want the media to just look, look at them and say, well, this is what they've done for the world. This is like the impact, the a positive impact that they've had on this world. Justin, he just embraces his community. He's such a warrior for black people, for people of color, for LGBTQ rights. He's just a champion for social justice, and that's more than what he does, it's absolutely who he is. Yeah, he's pretty remarkable. Also pretty cool that he played football for the Minnesota Vikings. This one kid said, if you play football, you're most likely not a Christian. And that's why I look at my dad and I said, not only did he play football, but he's also a Christian going around the world, spreading the word of God. And that makes me proud of him. I love black men. And I'm proud of black men. I see you. I see that you're fighting. I see that you're being a good man. I see that you're working so hard for your family. And I see that a lot of people don't see you. But for every one person that doesn't see you, there are so many people who are loving you, absolutely adoring you, and deeply revering you. You got this. This project is supported in part by the National Endowment for the Arts, on the web at arts.gov. You know, one thing that I've learned from this process is uh, I've got more courage, I've become more courageous as a result of doing this. 
Uh, my name is Lynette Commodore. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. For me, the most significant black man in my life would be my grandfather. He was the first black entrepreneur in Hopkins, Minnesota. People would come up to me on the street and say, you know, I know your people, and this is what he did for me. They fed their families from that business, you know? The ripple effect of the work that he's doing goes beyond our family, goes beyond his neighborhood. Where are the guys like him on TV? People have characterized black men as this very slim version of them that we see in the media. When I first applied for Docu, I have, you know, a couple of ideas and this one was, I thought, was controversial, you know? It's been nothing but positive feedback that I've gotten from people when I've told them about this project, which has made me feel more confident about going forward with it. 